Yeah, I got it. Hello, so I am back in the Airstream today. There's been a little bit of work done. Katie put up this backsplash here, this little tile backsplash. It's like stick on, but it looks super nice and it helps keep the walls clean. Nothing will stick to it. I think it looks great. She did an exceptional job. So I wanted to tell you guys about my favorite way to scan water with like a small streamer. As you know, I use a lot of Mirabu jigs. I've got videos about dead drifting them, flipping them. Um, just nipping with them under like an indicator and you know slow water but I haven't talked about how I strip with it like strip them and use them as streamers just yet and so I, I mean it's just it's the most productive way I think I've ever tried to catch fish it works for almost every kind of fish you can catch smallmouth largemouth it catches does really well for trout it's I mean it's exceptional super easy they're extremely affordable and you can cover a lot of water with it. And I, I think it just works significantly better than like a woolly bugger or something along those lines. So I don't have the size I usually use handy to show you guys. So I'm gonna run down to the bait shop and pick some up and I'll come back, I'll take you with me. All right, so when I say bait shop, I mean it. This is not a fly shop. This is a straight bait shop. Southtown Sporting Goods in South Fayetteville. What I like about this place is it's mom and pop owned and these jigs I'm buying are tied by a local company. But buying them here means I get to support two local businesses at once. So I'm gonna get kitted. We are still in COVID time, so it's masked pretty much everywhere I go. There's a round. Oh, I'm just grabbing some of these. So the walleye should be starting walleye to think bit, so I've seen something. people catching walleye already up in the gas. Oh, area. really? All right, so I'm back. Had to move my camera a bit. The sun's changed, and that area is just blinding now. But I got the stuff I needed. I'll show you what I picked up, because I didn't just get what I'm talking about today. I got some one 125th ounce. Oh, that sun's terrible. Hopefully you can see those. One 125th ounce marabou jigs. These are the ones I've got a video on this where I dead drift these below strike indicators in like slow moving water, uh, usually 5X, and it does super well for me. You can fish them between like 6 to 4X, no problem, usually, depending on the fishery. I grabbed some 132nd white jigs. Now, this is what I use for like shad kill patterns. I dead drift these under big indicators, usually on 3X and a lot quicker moving water. Uh, it's like a stunned bait fish, and it, I mean, you just can't beat them for brown trout, especially through the winter months. And then what I wanted to talk about today is the one 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 sixteenth ounce, uh, one sixteenth of an ounce large jigs. I usually use these in olive and peach, but they did not have them today, so I just got olive and brown. Really good color. You don't see it as well in the water, but the olive's still pretty bright. So I wanted to show you these things. They just look like any other marabou jig. They're simple, small. They've got a good cement head on them, which is pretty, pretty heavy. Now, I'm gonna wet it. If you won't put marabou in your mouth also to wet your flies, you think that's gross? You probably shouldn't be fly fishing. So this is what it looks like wet, just like a little, leech, bait fish, either of those things. And when you're stripping it, I do a short, fast, consistent strip pattern. So it's usually two to six inches, just about as quick as you're comfortable doing it. Cause you want your fly to, when you have floating line, you want it to pull it up 
on the strip and then down on the on like the paws. So in the water, your fly is kind of doing this motion, which makes it get like this really consistent jigging dance and fish love it. It's really important to have a consistency to your stripping when you use these. If you're doing like long, slow pulls, that's fine. Stay with it. If you're doing, you don't just want to be like one, two, slow, fast, one, two. I, I feel like you just do so much better with these when you just find a pace and stick with it. I like to do it just about as quick as I possibly can. That way when the fish grabs it, they generally hook themselves because they're swimming in, nabbing it, and turning around. So what I'll do is I'll put a cast out. If I'm in a river, usually a little bit down and across, give it just a second to sink. They punch through the water really quick. And then I just kind of toggle it back to me with short, fast strips. And when you get your eat, rather than doing a traditional strip set, a lot of times you just keep stripping, pinch and pull, just like a trout set. It's a small hook. It'll set well on a trout set. Now, when you buy these from PJ's Finesse, or any company that makes them zig jigs, any of that, they're gonna have a little bit of a barb on it. I don't know if this will focus on this or not. So it's, I mean, it's a small barb, but it is a barb. I smash them down. On occasion, you can break these hooks if you're too aggressive with them. But I, I think you get a better hook set with a barbless hook because it doesn't take as much pressure to get the hook in. You know, there's not that big barb you got to push through. I think you usually, when you have a barb on, you'll get a hook set to, you know, just right behind the barb. And when you don't have a barb, you get a hook set down to the hilt of the, you know, the, the bend of the hook. But that's just my personal opinion and my personal preference. Everybody's got a thing that they do. I'm not telling you, you got to do the thing that I do. But please give it a shot. If you don't keep these in your bag, get a bag of them and try them. Let me know what you think. I would try first to do it the way I'm showing you. That way, you know, because I, I know for a fact that this works just about anywhere I've ever fished anywhere in the world. And that way, you know, you get a good feel for it. And then from there, you know, you branch off you, and then you, you get your own, you know, your own pattern of stripping, your own rhythm. You, you learn the tricks you like to do and then come back and tell me about it because I want to learn from you guys as well. It's super helpful for me to have that kind of feedback. So this company is from Fayetteville, PJ's Finesse, and you can order them online. I'll put a link to their website. Now, I don't get, or I'll just say it, www.ejigs.com. I, uh, I don't work for them. I don't get things for free from them. I met the lady, the P of PJ's Finesse at the post office once. Um, she just complimented a fishing sticker I had on my car and I talked to her for a little while. But the reason I'm saying this is that I have no incentive to tell you guys that these things rule other than that they just rule and I like people to catch fish and have a good time. So if you don't have these in your bag already, get some, give it a shot. Let me know how it works for you. Short, fast strips, usually I'll do 3X on mine just because it's, it's like a guarantee not to get broke off most of the time, but you never know. Let me, let me know how it works. Let me know how it fishes where you're at. Let me know if it was helpful. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you're safe, and I hope to talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.